Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on disease microbiology and this is the part 4 of this series of videos on disease microbiology or microbial diseases. Okay, so let's start the question answer session on this topic and the first question of this video that is question number 61. The initial outbreak of SARS appears to have originated in option A China, option B Japan, option C Germany or option D India and SARS means severely acute respiratory syndrome. So the initial outbreak of SARS appeared to have originated in option A that is in China. Okay. So here we will see some small notes about this topic. So severely acute respiratory syndrome that is SARS is a viral respiratory disease caused by a caused by SARS associated coronavirus and it was first identified at the end of February 2003 during an outbreak that emerged in China and spread to four other countries. Okay, so let's move on to question number 62 that is variola is as option A chicken pox, option B smallpox, option C SARS or option D Germans, German measles. So variola is the causative agent of option B that is smallpox. So let's move on to question number 63 that is the causative agent of smallpox is belongs to family option A paramyxoviridae, option B togaviridae, option C poxviridae or option D flaviviridae and the right one is option C that is pox viridae. So the causative agent of smallpox is belongs to the family that is pox viridae. Okay. So let's move on to question number 64 that is the virus causing disease equine encephalitis to human through option A ticks, option B Aedes and Culex species, option C Anopheles or option D flies. So by which <clears throat> transport by which uh, this uh, <clears throat> transport the the virus causing disease that is equine encephalitis is caused to human so the right answer is option b that is through edis and culex species of mosquito so the viral virus causing disease that is equine encephalitis to human that is transport through edis and culex species okay so let's move on and here some notes to share that is eastern equine encephalitis that is triple e is a rare but serious disease that causes inflammation of the brain so it's caused by a virus transmitted by a specific type of mosquito that is often found in freshwater swamps so triple E that is Eastern Equine Encephalitis is also known as triple E or slipping sickness. It is also called slipping, slipping sickness. Okay. So next one is question number 65. That is TBE is a viral infection of option A central nervous system, option B respiratory system, option C skin or option D digestive system. So the right one is option a that is central nervous system so TBA means tick bone encephalitis that is TBA is a viral disease that affects the central nervous system and this TB is spread by the bite of an infected tick that's why it is called tick bone encephalitis and it can also be spread by eating or drinking raw milk or cheese from infected animals Initial symptoms of TB include fever, headache, vomiting and weakness. Okay. So next one is question number 66. That is which statement is appropriate for arboviruses and the options are option A. These are transmitted by blood sucking arthropods from one vertebrate host to another. Option B. They are arthropod prone viruses or option C they multiply in the tissue of arthropod without producing disease and the vector acquires a lifelong infection or option D all of the above. So the right one is option D that is all of the above. So which statement is 
appropriate for arbovirus this all statements are correct about arboviruses okay so let's move on to question number 67 that is which one of the following are the only natural host of smallpox and the options are option a animals option b humans option c insects or option d all of the above and the right one is option b that is humans so humans are the only natural host of smallpox so let's move on to question number 68 that is tbe that is tick bone encephalitis is transmitted through option a mosquito option b flies option c ticks or option d all of the above and the right one is option c that is ticks so this is very easy so let's move on to question number 69 that is rift valley fever rvf is transmitted by option a mosquito option b flies option c ticks or option d all of the above so right answer about the rift valley is option a that is mosquito so rift valley fever is transmitted by mosquitoes okay so rift valley fever is a viral disease that can affect both humans and animals it is most commonly found in domesticated animals in sub Saharan Africa such as cattle, buffalo, sheep, goats, camels. Okay. So next one is question number 70. That is West Nile fever also known as option A RVF, option B encephalitis, option C yellow fever or option D equine encephalitis and the right one is option B that is encephalitis. So West Nile fever also known as encephalitis. Okay. And this West Nile fever is a mild illness caused by the West Nile virus. The virus is spread by the bite of an infected mosquito. So mosquitoes become infected when they feed or in, feed on infected birds. Okay, so these are all about West Nile fever, which is also known as encephalitis. So the next one is question number seventy-one. That is, encephalitis was first discovered in 1937 in option A, United States, option B, in West Nile district of Uganda, option C, Atlantic, or option D, Queens, that is New York. So, the right answer is option B, that is in West Nile district of Uganda. So, encephalitis was first discovered in 1937 in West Nile district of Uganda that's why it is called West uh, West Nile fever okay so next is question number 72 West Nile virus is transmitted predominantly to humans by option A Culex species option B Aedes species option C Anopheles or option D ticks so the right one is option A that is Culex species so West Nile virus is transmitted predominantly to humans by Culex species of mosquitoes. Okay. Next is question number 73. Yellow fever is a public health problem in option A US, option B Africa and South America, option C China, option D Japan and Germany. So the right one is option B that is Africa and South America. So yellow fever is a public health problem in Africa and South America. So, yellow fever is a viral disease caused by the yellow fever viruses. It is transmitted to humans through the bites of infected mosquitoes such as Aedes and Haemagogus uh, uh, species. A uh, mosquito becomes infected when it bites a person with yellow fever in their blood. So, yellow fever doesn't spread directly from person to person. So next one is 74, question number 74, which disease processes, uh, which disease processes associate with AIDS? So option A, Kaposi's sarcoma, option B, candidiasis of bronchi, trachea or lungs, option C, cervical cancer, that is invasive or option D, all of the above. So which is associated, which disease is associated with AIDS? So the right answer is option D that is all of these diseases are associated with AIDS. Okay. So let's move on to question number 75 that is cold source is caused by option A HSV1, option B rhinoviruses, option C flavivirus, option D HIV and the right one is option A 
that is HSV1. So cold sore is caused by HSV1. So cold sore also known as fever blisters are small painful sweet filled blisters that essentially appear around the mouth or lips. So they are caused by the herpes simplex virus that is HSV. Okay, so next question is 76. Certain leukemias in human are caused by option A retroviruses, option B parvoviruses, option C herpes viruses or option D none of the above. So certain leukemias in humans are caused by option A that is by retroviruses. Okay. So let's move on to question number 77 that is HTLV1 causes option A adult T cell leukemia, option B adult B cell leukemia, option C hairy cell leukemia or option D all of the above. So which one is correct about HTLV viruses? So that is option A that is adult T cell leukemia. So HTLV1 causes adult T cell leukemia. So here human T lymphocyte virus type 1 that is HTLV is a retrovirus that can cause adult T cell leukemia or lymphoma. So HTLV1 is transmitted through infected bodily fluids such as blood, breast milk and semen. Okay. Next one is question number 78 that is hepatitis is caused by option A Epstein-Barr virus, option B cytomegalovirus, option C hepatitis B virus or option D all of the above. So the right answer is option D that is all of the above. So hepatitis is caused by Estin bar virus, cytomegalovirus and hepatitis B virus. So hepatitis is an inflammatory condition of the liver. Heavy alcohol use, toxins, some medic medic medicines and certain medical conditions can cause hepatitis. So however, hepatitis is often caused by a virus. In the United States, the most common type of viral hepatitis are hepatitis A, hepatitis B and hepatitis C. Okay. So, let's move on to question number 79, that is the hepatitis B virus is normally transmitted through option A blood or other bodily fluids or option B fecal oral contamination, option C sexually or option D parentally. So, the hepatitis B virus is normally transmitted through option A, that is through blood or other body fluids. So the hepatitis B virus is normally transmitted to blood or other body fluids. So let's move on to the last question of this video that is Helicobacter pylori is a causative agent of option A pharyngitis, option B gastritis, option C peptic ulcer disease or option D both B and C and the right one is option D that is both B and C. So both B and C is the right answer. So Helicobacter pylori is the causative agent of gastritis and peptic ulcer disease. That means both B and T, B and C is the right answer about the Helicobacter pylori. Okay. So these are all 20 questions on this part 4 video of disease microbiology or microbial diseases. Okay. So thank you for watching this video.